Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're gonna do a beer review. Okay, this one is from Stone, and it's their Enjoy By 9621. And it comes in at 9.4% alcohol by volume. And it's a, uh, looks like a West Coast style IPA. And um, they're from from I should know this by now right Escondido California okay um, this is what the bottle looks like I got this uh, six pack of this at Total Wine and More for like 15 bucks out the door and uh, let's see if it says anything about the hops it says enjoy now of course uh, no let's just get it cracked open and see what we got here okay there's the cap Right. Definitely looks different than the last Enjoy Buy that came out. The other one, the last one that came out looked like a, a hazy. This one's definitely West Coast. Okay. We have a huge, frothy, creamy, silky head. Pretty tight looking. And uh, it's got some bubbles popping up in there. And uh, we have a crystal clear, light amber color. All right. It's getting an aroma on this puppy. Yeah, we're getting kind of light, kind of pine, and some earthy kind of hop notes. A little bit of a malty sweetness coming through. But just light, kind of light uh, pine and light earthy kind of hops. Not a whole lot in the aroma department. It almost has no aroma. It's trippy. Well, let's get a hit. Cheers. Okay. There's a lot more going on in the taste and the aroma, that's for sure. Yeah, pretty big pine notes and uh, earthy hops. Nice malt sweetness coming through in the sip as well. Yeah, got pretty high IBUs. I'd say at least 70 or 80. It's pretty high. But very nice tasting. No booziness for nine, uh, over 9% here. Uh, nine, nine, almost 9.5%. Nine um, definitely a West Coast style. Uh, pine, kind of piney. Not fruity at all. Just piney, kind of hoppy, earthy hop. Malt, nice, nice malt backbone going there. Balance out all them hops. Pretty much just a straightforward double light you know, IPA. Really well made. Pretty nice though. It's pretty tasty. It's got like a nice kind of a sweet dankness to it. Leaving some really nice lacing on the glass there. Yeah, it's not fruity, that's for sure. Um, it's just hoppy. Not like green hop either. It's like, a, just kind of like, it's not like pine either exactly. It's uh, hard to describe. It's kind of like marijuana, again. It's kind of sweet tasting. Mm -hmm. Getting just a touch of tobacco in the aroma. A 
medium mouthfeel, medium almost heavy mouthfeel. Um, maybe there might be a touch of some booziness in there now that I'm chugging it pretty good. There's a little bit of booziness in there I'm picking up. But for the most part, it's a blend of the uh, kind of piney hops uh, and earthy kind of hops and not really floral, but it does have some malt kind of bready sweetness kind of coming through. Look at it. And that very vague kind of booziness, I guess, yeah. It's just hoppy. But there's enough malt to keep it from getting too bitter on you. It's a big beer, you can tell. But it goes down super easy for such a big beer. This beer gets you in trouble. I like it. It's pretty tasty. But you got to drink this one cold. If you don't get this one really cold, it's going to get too bitter. So we'll just chill out and uh, kind of sip on this for a while. And see if we can come up with anything. It's not really super defined on anything, but it's there. I mean, look at that lacing that's leaving on the glass. It's just really nice. Yep, that's pretty much where I got on this puppy. Not the best Enjoy By series I've ever had. It's a little one dimensional, um, not very complex at all, but it's very well made for sure. Um, I like the last one that was out much better, the hazy one. Um, I mean, for a West Coast style, it's super good. Uh, maybe a little bit over the top with the hops and the malt, I think, you know, but I think this one might be geared. A little more towards uh, getting you there quicker, you know what I mean? It's just a nice blend of the earthy hops and the, the piney kind of hops. And the malt, it's, it's well balanced with those three. Definitely easy to drink. Wow, that's up there in the IVUs, man. That's gotta be at least 70. Cheers. Nothing but foam. All right, so on a scale of one to five stars, uh, two and a half being C average. Um, man. I think it is a little over the top this time uh, with the hops and, and everything. Um, if they just toned it down just a little bit, I think I would have enjoyed it a little bit more. But it is a super well-made, uh, I'd say triple IPA. Uh, with that said, I'm going to give this a solid 4.3. It's pretty damn tasty, but it's a little over the top as far as the hops go and uh, not very, not complex enough. To really uh, you know get a higher score it's pretty straightforward so that's my score and I'm gonna stick with that hit the little bell if you want to get notified about the um, future reviews and uh, hit the like button subscribe if you'd like to that'd be great uh, appreciate y'all stopping by and checking it out um, it's a decent beer all right y'all have an awesome morning we'll catch you later okay see ya